Hey everyone, we're, welcome to a new Let's Play. In this video, we're going to be playing through the Devil May Cry HD Collection. Now, bef now I want to start because I don't want to... Um... HD Collection. Yep, this is what she said. Anyways, um, I, did, I just wanted to get to this menu so that I wouldn't get to that uh, demo again. But anyways, um, I picked this game up uh, recently because um, I haven't played a Devil May Cry game in uh, years. And I think the last... Devil May Cry game I played was the reboot on the Xbox 360. I mean, I've only played two of these games. Devil May Cry 3 Dante's Awakening for the PlayStation 2 and the the, uh, the one I mentioned, uh, Reboot. I think it was for the Xbox 360, though that was so long ago. And um, for Devil May Cry 3 Dante's Awakening, I've only played through like about an hour or two of it before I had to return it to Blockbuster. And I'm going to be playing all five of these games. Uh, there's the first three games, there's the, I guess, reboot, and then there's uh, Devil May Cry 4. Also, I can be prepared for Devil May Cry 5 because I really want to get into this. I've heard so much good things about it, and people wanted Devil May Cry 5 for such a long time. So, I'm going to start off, appropriately enough, with Devil May Cry, the first one, which, um, interesting, interesting, um... Uh, to know about this game um the first devil may cry game didn't actually start out as a devil may cry game but it actually started out as one of the builds for resident evil 4 and um that version was proven to be was shown to be way too action oriented that they decided not to go with that build however capcom saw potential in it so they decided to make it its own series and thus you have devil may cry and now, the fact that this kind of trilogy exists makes me wonder, will we ever see an Onimusha HD collection? Because I really want that, but I'll get more into that some other time, so. And, um, if you want to, like, hear more about, like, the development cycle of Resident Evil 4, like, how thi this came to be the first Devil May Cry game, uh, I think I talked about it in, um, the, the finale video of Res my L Resident Evil 4 Let's Play, but anyways, we'll get into the first Devil May Cry game. Would you like to continue? Yes? Continue what? Now, hopefully, one of these days I'll be able to get my uh, PC run at. Oh yes, this r familiar font. Oh boy, it's the four by three aspect ratio. Let's rock, baby. Get that right. <laughs> oh, that's a woman there. I thought that was him. Okay, so, this is the original format. This was released back in 2001. So, let me go to options, see what they got. Um, subtitles on, yes. Monitor tuning. Oh, yeah, this was one of those, like, uh, those times when, um, if your screen was, like, uh, too dark or too bright, you could adjust it. They don't give you the option to adjust it in-game. You have to adjust it from your TV. So, I hope uh, it's all adjusted well here. Default settings. What's the controller like? There's a uh, aim. And there's a uh, to shoot and exchange. I mean, examine. What, they don't utilize R2? It's interesting because I think uh, this was originally like a PlayStation 2 controller, but it's, um, now a PlayStation 4 controller. I find that pretty neat. And it's strange that it's in a 4x3 aspect ratio. Wait, I'm wondering, is this whole game going to be in a 4x3 four boy, four by aspect ratio? Um, I don't know. All I know is that it runs 1080p, 60 FPS. Uh, let's see, what the, I'm getting too distracted here. What changes between them? Okay, so the only thing that changes between the two is uh, the triangle, square, and circle buttons. Uh, type A would have the sword with the triangle, and uh, square and circle would be shoot and examine. Well, the triangle would be shoot and examine, and uh, both square and circle would be sword. So we're going to stick with type A. Alright, so new game.
Okay, this is a weird aspect ratio. There was a war between the human world and the other, the underworld. But somebody from the underworld woke up to justice and stood up against this legion alone. His name was Sparta. Later, he quietly reigned the human world and continued to preserve harmony until his death. He became a legend. The legendary Dark Knight, Sparta. I get a bad feeling that this is stretched. If this game was originally a 4 by 3 aspect ratio, then I'm afraid they might have stretched it because something doesn't look right. Oh my god! A phone call? Devil may cry. That's the name of his restaurant? Sorry, we closed at nine. Again, no password. I can't seem to get any real business. Oh! You got business now! Whoa, slow down, babe. Well, well, what do we have here? Nature calls? It's in the back. So, you must be the handyman who'll take any dirty job. Am I correct? Define um, dirty. I only take special jobs. If you know what I mean. You're the man who lost a mother and a brother to evil 20 years ago. The son of the legendary Dark Knight Sparta, Mr. Dante. Well, the way I figure it, in this business, a lot of you are kind of coming around. And if I kill each one that comes, eventually I should hit the jackpot sooner or later. In that case, you should be used to this sort of thing. Oh boy! Oh. Holy shit! Yeah, this is definitely PS2 like. Uh, my parents were divorced, so... <laughs> Time to go to work, guys. Oh, damn. Even as a child, I had powers. There's demonic blood in me. What strength? You were the first one to know about my inventions. It looks like I'm getting closer. You really gonna kill her? It seems that way, but I'm not your enemy. My name is Trish. Hello, Trish. I came here to seek your help. To put an end to the underworld. What? Wait, what? I didn't see your eyes. What? Um. Twenty years ago, Mundus, the Emperor of the Underworld, resurrected. Mundus? Yes. His powers were sealed by Sparta. He's attempting to gain control of the human world once again. He has been preparing to open the gate on... Malay Island. Wow, they're there already? That's fast. The castle is above this cliff. Come on, let's go. Huh. All right, well, I see they uh did the restoration for the uh, the in-game uh Graphics. A what? Map unknown. Okay. What? Oh, there's the HUD. And there's the map. 
Okay, well. Nice. That's what I was looking for. Whoa, what? Okay, I was looking away for a sec. Oh, there, that's to do. Oh, ho, ho. Can I climb up this mountain? No? Okay. I think I'm going to enjoy this. Yeah. Okay. As soon as I stop fooling around. Ooh, what's this? Yellow orb. A sacred stone that brings back life after death. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, for like... I also got to mention the subtitles for the game are a bit too big. Oh, I gotta hold R1 to fire? Oh, yeah. Well, at least I can move and shoot. Alright, so we have, like, fixed camera angles, so let's see what's in up in here. But, yeah, I was concerned about the CG cutscenes because uh, they look like they were stretched from their 4 by Oh, this is what I was talking about. Mission 1, Curse of the Bloody Puppets. Break the evil spell and open the cursed door. Mission start. Okay. What? Well. Perfectly shaped. Okay. Yep, camera angles. Yeah, I just want to keep firing it since I have infinite ammo. Oh, what's this? Red orb, a red stone used to unlock new skills and doors. To acquire new skills, you must offer the stone to the god of time. God of time? Wow, for nothing. Alright, so let me look around here. Yeah, looking around this uh, hallway, they were definitely planning something related to an umbrella castle or Spencer's mansion of some kind. What's this? Whoa, what the... I need 45 red orbs to open it. Well, how many do I have right now? I have six. Okay. Ooh. Is that another red orb? Yep, it is. Oh. Oh, it gives me five. This door is sealed shut. A rusty key may help. Yep, definitely Resident Evil. I'm sorry. I'm just going to draw so many comparisons to. So what does the right analog stick do? What? Tell someone to come on. It's the same thing as R2. Okay, that's going to be really confusing because I'm used to the right analog stick, like controlling the camera, but I have to remember that this was not originally a Devil May Cry game. So, what's a, let me look around here more. Oh, I already searched that door. So, and uh, I think the first Resident Evil game I remember to have like improved camera angle. Fixed camera angles was uh, Code Veronica. And they also implemented this for um, Onimusha 2 as well as Onimusha 3. So there's nothing back here. Can I go under here? Yes, I can. So let me go under here. It's a statue of a knight who's leaving for a war with the divine forces. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Oh. Ooh. Okay. That's neat. Um. Ah. Can I get... Wait a minute. What's this? Ah, okay. So... Ooh, I could go on the... Uh, what? No, I'm at a climb over. Okay. Can I go on? Nope, I s it seems like I can't go up there yet. Oh! Oh, please let me do a wall jump! Whoa! Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. I'm sorry, this must be hard for our veteran uh, Devil May Cry players to swallow because I've... Never played this game. I'm thinking, can I wall jump this bitch? No. I'm trying to see if I can find a speedrun tactic. Not that I'm going to speedrun this game, but still. Oh, wait. Ah, okay. 
so this is a blue orb fragment, also known as the fragment of life, but it's only one fourth of the whole piece. When it becomes whole, it will have the power to increase the, vi the vitality maximum limit. So you mean increase my health meter? That's nice. Ah, nice. Okay. I remember this uh, area similar to what I've seen in Devil May Cry 3. What's this? This statue must be the Watcher of Time. This god knows and remembers all of past. The words of this god are engraved. Those who desire to acquire an ancient ways of war shall offer the blood of monsters in exchange. It's not responding. I'd better use... I better unseal the door beneath here first. Okay. Oh, I can get on top. Okay, nice. Oh, boy. So I should probably just collect all the red orb orbs around here. Yeah, I can't go over there. So let's try going to the other side. Is there like a quick dash or something? Oh, I see more red orbs below. But, um... No, okay. I thought I was gonna fall. Though, it doesn't look like I appear to take fall damage. Oh man, this camera angle. Ah! Oh, okay! Whoa. Okay! Oh, I have more than enough uh, red orbs. Oh, I can't get over there? What? Yeah, it doesn't look like I take fall damage. So, was there anything on the other side I missed? Yeah. The footstep sounds are... It's definitely from Resident Evil. I'm not gonna lie, it is. Oh, wait. Wait, I don't want to go down. There we go. Okay. So, what's over here? Anything at all? No, I already uh, examined. So, let's go open that door first. You used 45 red orbs. Okay. What? Oh my god, it's the same door sound effect! God damn it! Yep, Resident Evil! What's this? Ah! Blue Orb Fragment, also known as Fragment of Life. Once, oh yeah, the... Okay, nice. I thought it was gonna be a puzzle here. A heavy iron lattice gate is lowered. It appears that this iron lattice gate will have to be raised in order to get out of this old castle. That's great. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. So, I go through here. It's the same door effects. I rip oh, nice. Same door sound effects. Oh, the wind's blowing? Yeah, break this. I can see the castle's garden from the window. What about it? Oh, I do have a map, okay. Oh, alright. Oh, hold on a sec. I'm sorry, hold on. I, 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 oh. The crumbled stairs are blocking the way. Yeah, that figures. It's a puppet that resembles the residents of this castle. Can I destroy it? No, I can't. I have a feeling that might come alive. So I... Ch oh, jeez. The, ma the map here reminds me of, um... Metroid Prime. Even though I haven't even beaten any of those games yet. Oh, wait a minute. So, to go right, I have to push... Left, I'd go left, I have to push right. Same thing as that. Why is it inverted? God damn it. Ah, an opening. First, let me um destroy this. What? And this. Okay, good. What's through here? Um. What is this?
There are three openings to insert something. To insert something? Nothing to examine here. There's a ladder, but the lid is closed and I can't go through. Oh, boo-hoo. Alright, so... No, the objects don't respawn, so... Get me up there. Okay, good. Come on. Destroy? Nope. I'll grab that. Oh. All these books list prisoners and their bail amounts. The room must have been used to hold high-ranking official officers captive during the times of war. How interesting. Does this say the same? Ooh, what? I have a bad feeling about this. Rusty key. The key is rusted, but it should work. Um, what? Yep, something's happening. Oh, hello. Oh. Puppets. Come on. Yeah. Die. Die, damn it. Cool. Okay. That's where the rock music comes into effect. Yep. Oh, it's a circle to fast track through the text. Come on. Get down. There we go. What? Oh. Dull, cool. Okay. Alright. Our first enemies. Puppets. So we have the rusty key, so now we can go back down to the main uh, lobby. Yeah, through here. I swear it's the same goddamn door effect. All right. Let me examine that up there first. Because it's set to open the red door before um, doing anything else with that. So let's say this time. What? You can acquire health, magic, and other enchantment items. Extra? Oh, um... Uh, double star. A crystal with magical powers. It will recover five double trigger gauges. Huh. Uh, a rare stone that revitalizes energy. Holy water. Water of divine blessings. It holds the power to eliminate all the evil that surround you. Untouchable. A shield with surround will surround the body, protecting you from any attack for a certain period. You will also be in, devil tr be in a Devil Trigger stat state during this period. Also, no oh yeah. The Purple Orb. It will increase the maximum number of your Devil Trigger gauges, thus increasing the time you can be in a Devil Trigger state. Yellow Orb. A sacred stone that brings back to life after death. Okay. So, um... I guess I can't hold any more. Can't, what, what am I, oh, is it the taunt? But the same thing happens with the right analog stick. I don't understand. Alright, so, where was that rusted door? Was it on this side? Let me check the map. Yeah, it was on this side. You unlock, you use the rusty key. Oh. Okay, that's not a puppet. Nothing here. Okay, so... Oh, more puppets. From the looks of things, 
From the looks of things, it hasn't been repaired in a long time. It doesn't look like it's going to fly. Hey, you get out of the way. What's this? This emblem responds to my powers. What? Ah! What? Um, where am I going? I haven't even explored that yet! Hold on. Oh. That's nice. Come on, yeah! What? No! Bravo! Oh boy, more puppets! Sweet! Let me get these orbs first. Die! Oh boy. Coming on all three sides. Come on, wait, 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 wait! Damn it! I want. Bravo! Damn it! Oh boy! Okay, is that it? Oh! Shake your son that revitalizes energy as soon as you get it, so it's health. Yep. So what now? It doesn't look like I can open it. Wait a minute. That one sticks out. Nah. Alright, so can I get back? Uh, yes, I can. Oh, hello. A so absolute. No. No. No, god damn it. Damn it, you son of a bitch. Die. Motherfucker. What? Oh. It's gone. Okay. I didn't even know there was a barrier on there. Can I get on top of this thing? Oh, I can't. Wait. Wait. Ah. Oh, yep. Yeah. How many do I have right now? Three out of four. What is this music? Okay, so I can enter through here. Wait, that's the end of that? Okay. See? Oh, it gives me more, okay. Yeah, let's save. Okay. Next mission. Judge of Death. Open the door to the cathedral. Mission start. Let's see what we can do for a power-up. Yeah, nothing we can do for now. Okay, it takes a bit. It takes. I have to wait like a few seconds or so for it to, for me to move the cursor to mission start. Die. All right. What's this? It's a landscape painting. There's an airy aura to surround surrounding it. It's a painting of a battle. It's a painting of a battle. Oh.
Oh, what? The shooting doesn't count towards my combo? That's stupid. Die. I'm not interested in getting perfection. I just wanted to... Wait, so... Oh, this is a room I didn't uh, check. Oh, I hear puppets. Oh, this room. Oh, this is where I was before. No, you stupid. What? Oh, it's freezing me in time. That's what it was early. Son of a bitch, I get... Oh, wow, they're respawning. It's like it wants me to... F Bravo, oh, deep. Come on. Ow, what the fuck? Oh, health. Nice. Ow, what? Don't get, well. No, yeah, yeah, stupid. Oh boy. Well, I better get going. <laughs> oh shit, they respawn here as well? Fuck this. Oh no, damn it! Well, that was me being cocky. Wait a minute, it's based on lives? Are you kidding me? Oh. Hello. Oh, stylish! Die. I need to increase the power of my guns. Oh, jeez. Okay, is that it? Or they just like spawn randomly. All right, so there's the door on the other side I was looking for. Well, of course these things are here. Absolute. Oh, I can't hold on to. Damn it. I feel like I'm going to be in for one hell of a let's play. Die. Thank you. There's going to be more. Yeah, there's more. Oh my god. I thought I was going to be facing demons, but I'm facing puppets. Oh my god. Come on. No! Son of a bitch! Okay, that's done. Wait, are they going to respawn every time I come back into this room or something? Where am I now? I haven't even reached the, the other side of the damn door. Which is over yonder. Yeah, I'm getting that right. So what's in here?
More orbs. Oh. Can I examine this? No, I can't. Oh. Yay! Blue demon. What's that mean? Okay, so what do I, uh... Um... You don't have enough orbs. You cannot hold any more of this item. Oh, uh, yeah, this must appear on the screen before you can acquire this item. I guess I'll go for the blue orb? Okay. I don't think I've been a devil trigger yet, have I? Of course they're back! So, we're gonna be dealing with respawning enemies when we enter and exit the room. It's not like Resident Evil where the zombies just like stay dead and you just be on your merry way. No! Oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah, some of the flaws of the first Devil May Cry game is, uh, evident. Because... Fixed camera angles should not be something for heavy, heavily action-oriented games. Wait a minute. What's in this door? This door is locked, but it looks like a rusty key may help. But I already used a rusty key to get through to get into here. So what else? The door. Wait, what? Hold on, let me go through here first. This room. I have an odd feeling, but... Very odd feeling about this room. A book's written about the administration run. By the success of Castellans, the, la the latter Castellans imposed ridiculous taxes and barbaric executions. Why am I reading this? <laughs> yeah, why are you reading this? There are a list of crops that I've harvested from the feudior feudatory. Strangely, the amounts of crops harvested were never stable, and there are in instances where winter crops were harvested in the summer. Arranged on this shelf are many books pertaining to the art of alchemy. That could be useful. All right. Oh, wait. Yep, you can't stop me. What was that? Oh! Oh, a shotgun! Yeah! Yeah, boy! These books are related to black magic and rituals from all parts of the world. Whatever. <laughs> so, the shotgun. Yes. Ooh. Yep, that's the same kind of sound effect of shotgun that was used in Resident Evil 2 when the, with the custom shotgun. So what's this all about? Gun selection. What's this? This item is currently equipped. Yeah, that's definitely the sound effect. A Grim Reaper-like devil is depicted. A key is, is embedded, should I take it? Why not? What, what's the worst that can happen? Something about a strange occurrence in the cathedral of this castle is written. It happened on a hot, humid night. The columns twisted and the statue of a god disappeared. 
We quickly sealed the cathedral and hoped that someone righteous with a strong heart would come to save us. Yeah, come to save you. Been humid in New England so much so long recently. There's a word left by a no notable prophet. When he visited this castle, it states, Pluto shall come on the promised date and separate heaven and earth. One with black wings of treachery shall come and stand in Pluto's way. Prometheus? I can see a room on the earth's side. There must be another way to get there. Oh, okay, so... Um, I can't go over there, so... There aren't any books particularly interesting here. Huh. How am I gonna get through that, is my question. Alright, so I guess we're done here for now. I need to have something to burn. Let me guess. There's gotta be more puppets around here. Yep! Down, boy. Well, at least it's unlimited ammunition, so... Why not? Wow. I can only imagine what other weapons I'm going to get with this. Okay. Oh. Come on. I can just keep shooting you all all the time. Wow, you guys keep on coming, don't you? Okay, you know what? Okay. That should be it for now. So, the map tells me to be in this area. There's a sculpture of a female in agony with a sword pierced through her chest. Wait, I can hear a voice. I am Alastor. The weak shall give their heart and swear their eternal loyalty to me. What? Oh, shit! Oh, what? What the fuck? You did that just to get a new sword? <laughs> Wonderful. Ooh, nice. Sweet. Nothing to- wow. So what's this sword? Avala- Alastor gives the possessor lightning speed and aerial capabilities. Yes! Just what I was looking for! Alright, so... We had the we have the rusted key. So, the logical place to go to is here. You use the rusty key. Um 
more puppets if I am right. But uh, it does nothing for the refresh rate on the combat. I don't know the uh, range of this shotgun. Oh, so this is the devil trigger that I was, uh... That I was told about. Get back. Oh, boy. Back to the corner with you. Oh, health. What the f I know there's archers from above, but I gotta take these ground guys out first. You know what? I'm gonna go after them. See what's up. All right. Okay. Hello. Goodbye. Okay. Nice. All right. So this door. Oh. There's an immense power that will not allow anyone to get closer. Before I can confront the lion, I'll need a sign. A sign? What sign? It's a great man of a lion. There's something written. Only those with who the lion has accepted can set me free. Well, something I can't go through yet. The statue of an angel, the guardian of a god. Okay. It's a statue of an angel, the guardian of a god. Oh, I thought that was a door. Okay, so. Good thing I do our max jumps. So let's go through this door and see what we can find. Oh, more. Oh! I guess that hand prevents me from leaving when I answer a new. Oh my god, camera angles. Back. Okay, that should be it. What's this of? There's something written. A god stands before thee to, oper to open the path. Use thy strength to drive it back. You mean I can't use a shotgun? Okay. There's something written. Oh, yeah. Is there anything around here I missed? What's this? It's sealed shut by an immense power. Well, they ain't trying to grab me. Yeah, I would assume so. Oh, what am I going? So, what's this all about? There's something in gray beneath the opening. This is where the guiding soul ga souls gather. So, I need an... I need an object to place in there. Ah, the secret compartment. What's this? Staff of Judgment, a staff that sh that shines with mysterious light. Um. Oh. Oh my God! It's the same goddamn sound effect in Water for Resident Evil, mother. This is definitely... Oh! Hello! We're back here! Where we got the shotgun. Sweet! Oh! Don't you laugh at me! What? Um... Oh boy. We're facing Grim. Hey, um... Where's Billy and Mandy? Oh, that's not... Oh, these are not Grim... 
This is our bad news. All right. Come here. What? All right, I'll just shoot the shit out of you. You better scream. Come out of that wall. Don't you... You're not neutering me. I swear to you, you are not neutering me. All right, is that it? Yep, that's it. She was gonna clip. She was gonna clip me, bro. She was going to clip my nuts. I'm not a dog. What? Spiders? Spiders! Spiders! Wow. The animation is not too appealing on these small spiders. So we go through here. Ow! Okay, so what about this? Can't use it here. So I'm assuming I gotta go back to the other way. Oh! Oh, God. All right, now I'm going. Oh, nope. Wow. I'm annihilating them with this friggin' shotgun. Wait until I get a machine gun. Okay. This is so ridiculous. Okay, got that, so... So, let me, um... Um... Those that enter, huh? Maybe I should use that... Um... Maybe I should use that, um... Staff on the door there. Oh. I'm coming down. Come on. Doesn't last long for the combo streak. Oh, what? Okay. Should be good. More orbs. Oh, they disappear after a while? No, I guess they stay. No, I want... I'll need a sign. What do I use a sign on? Um... I have... Uh, 
Dante and Virgil. Huh. We'll get into that in Devil May Cry 3. Um. I don't know what to do. I'm assuming... Oh, wait a minute. Back out in the hall. Of course there has to be these enemies again. Boy, this castle is obsessed with puppets. Uh, there's still more. Oh. Nope. My god. Wow, they just keep coming, don't they? I'm gonna keep shooting you out of existence! Okay, I like that you don't always stay locked onto the same target while you're walking away from them. Okay, is that it? No. Okay, that has to be it now. Alright. Yeah. What happens as a result? Oh, that's clear. See? Yeah. Hey, I will save. Okay, so next mission. Yep, easy automatic mode. In this mode, you'll be able to perform and enjoy many different moves with simplified controls. With mo with w with just one button, you'll be able to perform many different sword actions depending on the situation. You'll also be able to run, able to fire without pressing R1 to aim. Plus, by holding down the fire button, you will be able to rapid fire. Ah! From here on, you'll be able to play in easy mode. No, I want us go further. So. Mission 3, Destroyer of Ardor. Overcome the trial and acquire the Pride of Lion. And we'll get into that in the next video.